Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lupe Lopez and I'm here to show you how to get grid lines for Final Cut Pro. So first off, um, Final Cut Pro, from what I know and from what I've looked into, uh, doesn't really include any built-in grid lines. So I did some digging, found a few different solutions, um, but the one I'm about to show you is the quickest and easiest method that I have found thus far. If you have anything different, I would love to hear about it. Feel free to leave it in the comments below. But yeah, let's jump right into it. So basically what I found is this website called Example. And this is uh, the homepage here. But basically what they have is different wallpapers that you can use, some of them which are grid lines. Um, and you don't really have to use Example. If you have photo with grid lines of the exact dimension of the video you're making, that works just fine. I picked out a few good ones, uh, which I will include in the description below. And you guys are always more than welcome to find your own or even create your own. So a great thing about this one is that it allows you to choose your different dimensions for your videos. For this example, we're going to be using 1080p for our video. Therefore, we would want a dimension of 1920 by 1080p. Let's say if, if we're doing a 4K video, we'd probably want something like... Um, where is it here? Here we go. 3840 by 2160. So it really just depends on what kind of video you're making. The cool thing about this website is that it allows you to choose your dimensions accordingly. So once you have selected your grid, you're going to just click download PNG. It's going to go into your download section. Your browser may vary, but once you find it, I typically like to save mine to the desktop here. But once you have it ready to go, you can simply go to File, Import Media, and locate your file that way. Or, for an easier method, you can simply slide over, access your desktop, find the file, click and drag onto your timeline. Go back in there. So now once you've dragged it onto the timeline, it's going to show up in whatever duration here. I would recommend that you make this image the length of the duration of the video. In this case, we have a one minute video here. The video that I'm using as an example is a video of our puppy Ollie here. Pretty cute little guy. Anyway, this will work just fine if you have multiple stacks here. It'll basically just float on top. As you can see, it's going to show just the image because of the blend mode that it's currently at. It's currently at normal. So then what we're going to want to do is basically go into blend mode, click there, and select overlay. And by this point you can basically see where I'm going with this. Once you've made it an overlay, you can see the grid lines here. So a couple of different things you can use this for. Let's say that you want to align some text, which I'm sure a lot of you might. You simply throw your text on there. From there, obviously select your text. From there, check it out. If you want a lower third, you can simply bring it down. There's your lower third. So let's get a little deeper in here and add some more text so we can align. From there. And let's duplicate that again. And I'm doing this by holding down Option or Alt, depending on what computer you have. What this ends up doing is giving us kind of some guidance, right, on where we would want to place this text within our video. And so for this, I like to leave it at 100% for the overlay, but if you feel like it's a bit intrusive within your creative process, what you can do is maybe take it down a notch to 30. If you want it barely visible, I would maybe say go down to 10 and you would still have some grid line here, but barely visible. I typically like to stay at 50% just because it gives you a good idea of what's going on in the video and the guidelines are pretty visible there. But that is totally up to you guys. You can go up to 100 or stick to 50. And this is non-intrusive, so it's not really messing with your video. Um, 
If you have a better method of doing this, again, we'd love to hear about it. Leave it in the comments below. So once you've decided the opacity of your overlay and you're comfortable with it, and once you've aligned your text, you can simply hit the hot key V and then see your results. Boom. And let's say we wanna do something farther down this video. Well then from there, all we have to do is activate our new grid line by pressing the hot V key. Boom, our grid line comes up. We can add some more text. And you can begin to see how this is very useful. Of course you have the built-in snaps that will snap in the center. And so if you can see here, it's actually the exact same as this line here just in case you're a little skeptical about the accuracy of it. There you go. Boom, right down in the center. So that might be a good way to test out the dimensions of your image that you selected. So anyway, let's align this here. Disable the image for a result. Boom, there you go. That's basically it. You pretty much have your on and off grid at your disposal. Definitely plenty of applications and plenty of ways you can customize this to your advantage. I really hope this video helps you guys in creating some awesome videos. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And thank you guys for your time.